Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Chameleon Craft. This is episode three of... Oh no! <laughs> this is episode three of season three. And I haven't made a video in a while. Reason for that, I'm not going to get into too much detail. I had loads of issues with uh, recording software. Um, I tried making an episode, uh, audio didn't record, so I tried re-recording it and then stuff didn't record and it got very confusing. And I literally just gave up on that episode completely. But in that episode, I made... This little fella over here, which I'm going to show you. So this episode will mainly be an update kind of video of what I've been doing and what I'm doing at the moment on my base and my plans for my base because I've got a really cool house idea planned. Um, and also I'll show you some clips of uh, me hanging out with some of the guys on the server, which we did uh, of recording this video. We did it yesterday, I believe. So this is what I made in, or well, I should have made in episode three, and it is an AFK cow farm. And I'm going to cheat a bit and turn off the rain because it's freaking annoying. Come on. Come on, make it sunshine. There we go. So this is it. Uh, AFK Cow Farm. Got the idea from Exuma Void. Uh, so it's kind of his, his... He did it on Hermitcraft the season before the one we're on at the moment. Um, on a bit of a bigger scale. And I've seen versions of this before where they don't go around in circles. They kind of sit on um, fence posts and the babies fall between. So I kind of like took loads of people's ideas and mashed them together with my ideas. But the idea is, you go in here. You go AFK and hold right click. Or you can assign your mouse button to whatever and put a weight on your keyboard. And then all the cows will get bred. And they go around in circles. And then the babies are just small enough. This sounds so cruel. It's small enough to fall into my evil trap. And I'll show you this. It's a bit of a bodge job, really, like the way I've set it up. But there you go. You can see the babies fall down. I've had, lot, had lots of issues with the water streams. Like I did try, I did have it all just going straight around the corners. But that means the babies will just go around with it. So then I did this kind of thing where I put signs. And the water goes diagonally. And then... I put fence posts and then it's all very bodged, but it works. Um, and then this is where they all fall down. Down into here. There we go. So this is where all the cows come down. See, there's some baby ones in there. Where are the babies? I can't actually see any babies in there at the moment. Oh, but yeah, you click this button. And then what that does is sets off a little um, redstone contraption, which I will quickly show you. By uncovering it. I really hope I don't break anything. It's very simple. Literally, like, uh, that's a really slow thing. That's like a one tick pulse thing. Really quick. So it goes through, activates it, and then a, a couple of ticks later, this activates. So it turns the um, dispenser on like this. It goes pow, pow. Oh, actually, no, I can't really do it with the place and box, but it goes ba boof. Like that. That's a technical term, ba boof. So let's place this all back in. Ooh. There we go. So let's, we might as well do it. And let's, what have we got in here? We've got nothing in there at the moment, so this is what it does. They will come on, it turns off, and then eventually they will die in sync. Usually there's one that has to die first. Oh, they did all die in sync, but this thing is awesome. L literally, like, no XP, which is fine, but this is where I've been getting like, all my food from recently. Look at all this steak. So, and all the leather comes through a bit later as well because it's all stacked up in the hopper. But we'll quickly wait. Oh, there we go. Look, we've got 30 steak from that. It's awesome. And then leather as well, but we'll leave the leather. Um, I've got so much leather now, literally. Usually on servers, I do not have any leather, so to make bookcases, it just takes for ages. But I finally set up an enchantment table, which is what I wanted to do for ages. And finally, I've actually got enchanted gear. Oh, that was from a skeleton, but shh, we don't want to talk about that. First pick for the server, first actual enchanted pick. Silk Touch 1, and Breaking 3, Efficiency 5. Originally, it was Efficiency 4, but I just added uh, just a couple of books to that. These are the books I've got, quite a few. Um... Nothing really changed. I, I think the only main things that have changed since you've seen uh, the server from my point of view is this farm, the bridge, this kind of dock area, possibly. That farm, all that, all that's brand new. And my house design. Let's quickly show you the house design. I'm going for a mod, kind of like a modern old... Sorry about that. I just got interrupted. But where was I? Oh yeah, talking about my house. Oh my god. And this server never stops raining. I swear to god. Literally, it just rains all the time. I think it's something to do with the bed thing I've set up. You know, with the, the sleep one person sleep thing? I th it's got to be something to do with that. You know, yeah, so the style I was going with, like I was saying, is like a mix between old uh, and modern style. Like You get the, you know, you get the modern buildings like um, it's the snow and the clay and all that stuff like that. Apologies to my phone. Very unprofessional. Uh, all that. And then it's going to be like the kind of oh, what is it? Rust? No, not rustic. It's kind of like they get the medieval um, feel to things as well. So I'm using the wood. I'm using the... Uh, which one's this? I always forget which one this is. Uh, polished and this one. Um, a lot. Which type of logs? I think these are dark, and then spruce, and stone bricks as well. I've kind of set up, I've set up a random outline. This is kind of be something that I just constantly work on, like little bits at a time, uh, rather than dedicating an entire episode to. 
But uh, next step is I'm going to show you what's down this ladder here, and then I'm going to show you the Nether Hub because I've basically finished the Nether Hub and I'm very happy with it. So let's go down. Down here we have a slime farm in production. Oh my! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at him, oh Phoenix has joined, hey, let's get rid of this guy, quickly, yeah, so I'm building a slime farm, I've never built a slime farm before, uh, I tried building one on the single player world ages ago, like, I could say, a good three years ago, um, so, but I thought, you know what, I'll build one on the server, because slime balls tend to be quite a, um, a rarity, Apart from obviously, if you have a slime farm, and if I've got the slime farm, I'd be able to sell them to people and make their dollar. So this thing does work. It's not very quick at the moment. I think because I've got to light up all this cave system around here. But it does work. Uh, this is like a thing that's 20, uh, what is it, 30? I think it's 25 blocks away because that's how far away you need to be for slimes to spawn. So I have been running back here occasionally and like um, seeing if slimes do spawn. And they do spawn, but at the moment it's a bit naff because it's not completely finished. And I've only got technically three layers of spawning. Uh, you know, two built, then the one down the bottom, of course. But yeah, they have been spawning. I have been getting quite a few slime balls. Um, it'd be a miracle, or would be really nice if they did decide to spawn right now, but they're not going to. Uh, slime Chunk, I found it in a uh, website called Slime Chunk Finder or something like that. So hopefully it's the right size uh, or in, in the chunk. If not, I've screwed up. But the storms are still spawning, unless I'm like overlapping chunks. But anyway, on to the main big project that I've been working on recently. I came on the other day. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to build a slime farm. So I came on, started building the slime farm, got distracted, and ended up doing a nether hub. And I'm very grateful for, I think she, uh, you the freaky, gave me a pickaxe and um, allowed me to do this. So this is it, and I'm very happy with it. It's just very basic at the moment. Um, still not 100% finished, as you can see. Very basic, circular design. You have, uh, is it? Eight on the bottom, and then three, six, nine, twelve, thirty, four, fifteen, six, uh, three, six, nine, twelve, thirty, four, fifteen, six, sixteen on the top, I think. I think it's sixteen on the top. Yeah, sixteen on the top, eight on the bottom. So we've got quite a few. I know that's not as many how many uh, members we have, but um, it's it's good. I do like it. I mean, a lot of people. I mean, you know, you know I don't think everyone's going to have a Nether portal because loads of people live quite near spawn. Um, we've got a few being used already. We've got Andrew's there. We've got Steph's. Uh, Deserac is going to do his there because at the moment he's using my tunnel because you go up like, upstairs because his is higher up. We have this one. I don't know who's that one is yet. We have Zach's tunnel. He's in the process of building that. Phoenix. The only problem with this was that people had already done their tunnels and then we had to do kind of this this thing here, which I, I had to do as well, but that's alright. That's kind of how these uh, tunnels work. It's not bad. I still need to make my tunnel look quite cool. Um, uh, what's it? Oh yeah, we had an issue as well. Actually, I'll quickly show you that clip right now. Um, basically, I was working on it. I had fraps open, talking to some of the guys, and a ghast spawned. So, uh, here's that clip. No, 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 he spawned right in the middle of the, the freaking nether hub. What the f- Who's a ghast? What? <laughs> what the oh, yeah. oh the my god. Did you? Did a gas dude, he, dude, he hit my, he hit my <gasps> tunnel. Look, oh my he God. hit my tunnel. I just dude. turned around and was like, quick, hit the record button. He was just like sitting there, like, oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, dude. So Joel, oh, yeah. What you're telling me is you didn't use half slabs. I can use half slabs. I just haven't put them in yet. <laughs> So he asked for blocks, I'm gonna ask if they can be half slabs because I don't really have many of them. <laughs> Only a short clip, but as you can see, very lucky that it didn't do more damage. It actually fired one shot into uh, into his base here. Oh, it's actually done his tunnel all the way, that's pretty cool. Uh, nice, so that's the nether port uh nether <laughs> This is a nether hub done, and I have a plan for the ceiling. I actually posted an image on the Minecraft Reddit asking for suggestions on how to um, uh, finish this thing off. People suggested about bringing the logs down all the way to add more kind of structure. And then I, one main comment was about a theme, and that's a very good point. I didn't have a theme. I just kind of built block, like built and the blocks that I thought looked good. Um, and then someone suggested because I've been using these um, these ocean blocks. I think they I don't know what they're called. They're called a uh, 
prismarine bricks. That's it. I've been using these a lot. So they said about having an ocean theme, which is obviously quite hard in the Nether. But I really like that idea because it's kind of like a opposites. We've got lava, hell, and we got over and stuff like that. So I'm thinking what I could do for the theme is have um, well for the roof. I was talking to Andrew about having a domed roof, but I don't think a domed roof is very good. Because it'll, it'll be it'll be super hard and it'll only really look good if I do it right. So what I think we're going to do is only slightly dome it to about there and have a completely flat ceiling have like a map on the ceiling or something um possibly a copy of spawn but i don't know how i'll do that um i'll have to maybe get a map or of spawn or something like that and um copy it on the ceiling uh we're using clay or some kind of like um i don't know design that's like ocean or kind of watery but that is my phone ringing so i think that practically ends off this section of the video um, so I'm going to quickly leave you with some little clips and a little funny montage of the things I got up to with the other guys on the server. So thank you very much for watching this little random update video. If you did enjoy, leave a like and comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Um, okay. I think this take one, me. this little fellow. Hello there, take little me. Oh my, Name what? Me. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's a good one, dude. Yo, that's Moosey Joe. Moosey Joe. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. Moosey Joe. Moosey Joe. <laughs> that's cute. It's that's on my cow really alter ego. Yo, Zach. <laughs> Yay. You cow. I'm getting a selfie with Moosey Joe. <laughs> yeah. Moosey Joe. Come with me. What? I'm oh, coming. Yeah, I am coming. Where's my anvil? Okay, it's my anvil. Sorry. I am coming. I am okay. with you. Okay. Okay. Hello. I am with you. Hello. Okay. Okay. We're going on a trip to yeah. a place called yeah, Auschwitz. It is shower time. Oh my little 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 juice line time. Line. Um, I don't feel uh, comfortable on this trip boy. anymore. <laughs> What? We're just going on a trip to a place called Auschwitz. It's just shower time. You people think you can time. take my carrots and eat your sugar cane? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yo, Mia. Mia. Where are we going? That just happened. Are we going down? Or are we yelling timber? Nice. We're going going down. Yes. down. Oh, no! No, <laughs> don't break the plot below it. <laughs> I was going to do that. Guys, does anyone have a horse ah! or a horse? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> there are quite a lot of horses uh, around my base, but not in Mark since I accidentally. Why are you guys fighting? I've got for Joe. Moosey Joe? <laughs> ah! Oh no, please no more! <laughs> no, I'm <more> hot <laughs> <laughs> That was beautiful. Can you, can you, <laughs> were you really? Yeah, I was on half a heart. I, I am so sorry. That's fine. No, he's not. No, he's not. That's fine. <laughs> Wait, he's not I, I'm coming. Oh, no. Wait, no, no more. No more. I'm now on three hearts. <laughs> Come on, oh my here. God. <laughs>